Hi, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to make a website on your iPhone. To get started, go to webstarts.ai in your address bar. I've already done that. It should look like the website that you see here on my screen. Once you're ready, click Get Started. It's free. In the next step, you'll be asked whether this website is for you or an organization. If you're creating a business, feel free to choose organization, but I'm creating this one just for me, so I choose me. Next, enter in your full name and click continue. You can skip any of these steps along the way if you feel like they are not relevant. Now it's time to browse for some photos on my local computer, so I'm going to hit photo library, all photos, and I'm just going to select a few photos that I've recently taken and then it's going to take a few moments for those photos to upload to my website so I'm just gonna wait for that to happen now it's important to remember the larger the photos that you upload and the more of the photos you upload the longer that could take and also depending on your internet connection now I have the option to add more photos to my website or click continue I'm going to continue and now I'm going to enter in my mobile phone number and click continue. You can skip that step as well. Now it's time to select a category for your website. Depending on the category that you select, Web Starts AI will try to make some good decisions about what it should display. Now, okay, great. I've created a website. This is a preview of it. If I want to take a look at some other layouts, I can just tap Remix and then I can get some different layouts and I can see what those look like on my mobile phone. When you find a layout that you're really liking, you can go ahead and select it. I think there's about five or six different layouts. I actually like the first one, so I'm gonna tap this until I get back to that first layout. I'm back there now. So I tap continue to accept that layout. And now it's just time for me to sign up and create an account. So I'm gonna go ahead and just enter in my phone number and my email address along with creating a password for my account. So just bear with me while I do that. I tap sign up and now I just need to verify that I'm a real person. All right. So now a code was sent to me, 9427, I enter that, or 72. All right, so my website is finished, and now I have some options. I can either view my site by tapping on this pink button, I can edit my site by tapping on this blue button, or I can add a domain name to my site by tapping on this green button, or I can share what I've created already on Facebook or Twitter. I'm going to go ahead and tap edit site because I might want to make some changes to my website. Now once you're in here, just tap on any one of the elements and then tap, for example, edit text. And then you can get in here and you can edit the text. If you want to edit the image, you can change your background image by tapping on that. Now something that's important to remember is that there's a full version of this website builder, Web Starts. Dot com is where you'll go to make edits and changes to the full version of your website. So I can edit this same website on my desktop computer and that is a lot easier because I have way more uh, screen space to work with. So here I'm just going to save my changes by tapping on the little um, save icon. And then I'm going to move over to my desktop computer and show you what that looks like. To edit the website I created on my mobile device, I'm going to go to webstarts.com, which is the companion website to webstarts.ai. So make sure you add that in your address bar and then click log in and then enter the username and password that you used to create the account on your mobile device. Now I have multiple websites in this account, so you may have only one, in which case it'll just open up straight to that website. But for this demo, since I have multiple, I have to select that website that I created in that account. 
So I've done that. Now you can see you've got those photos that I uploaded from my mobile phone. And when I click edit site, I can actually come in here and I can double click and edit any of the um, photos or anything else that I want on my site. I can drag and drop things where I want them to appear. I just have a lot more screen space to work with. I can double click here, for example, and I can swap this image out for a different one if I want. And then I just click save to save and publish those changes. Now you should be adding a domain name to your website that makes it easy for people to find. And in order to do that, you need to click add domain and then select a domain name like your very own .com.org or .net. And then when you're ready to take that to, uh, you know, publish that online, you can just uh, add that domain name and start sharing it. All right, that's it for this video. I appreciate you watching. Be sure to tap subscribe and enable notifications so that you see more videos from this channel. And I'll see you next time.